this uh, kind of eye contact, it's uh, when it's a toxic relationship. <laughs> because the toxic pe people do that. Razvan's friend is about to call out Amanda. She's about to give her a few harsh home truths. And to be honest, it's long overdue. And I don't think this will be a health relationship. And I think uh, it's not working. Y you love him or you're just attached to him? No, I'm in love with him. Um, you took a little bit too long to answer there, Amanda. Now, before we dive into all of those looks and all of the questions, let's rewind back to the start of this episode. So we left Amanda and Razvan with Amanda freaking out over the fact that Razvan mentioned that he might one day want kids. That, for Amanda, is a no-go. So I guess she can just add that to the long list of reasons that she's compiling to leave. Because it's pretty clear she is looking for reasons. She just doesn't seem very happy. She doesn't seem happy with the relationship. She doesn't seem happy with Razvan. And she doesn't seem happy with being in Romania. Just take a look, for example, at how she reacts when she sees the traditional Romanian restaurant that Razvan's taking her for dinner. This before she's even stepped foot inside. It looks scary. It's very odd. It's hard to believe that Amanda's 31 years old. Razvan is younger than her, he's only 26. Now, this isn't the first time that Razvan's taken Amanda to do something that's completely normal, like taking a stroll in the park, only for Amanda to call it creepy or scary. How must Razvan be feeling when he hears her say things like that about his country? Does Amanda actually care how Razvan feels? I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Almost all the dishes are Romanian. How can I read anything? Razvan's been tirelessly trying to make Amanda feel safe and comfortable. He really is trying to put a smile on her face. But all of his efforts, whether that be the gifts he's bought her or trying to cater to her dietary requirements, have all been pretty much shot down by Amanda. She hasn't liked much since she's come. But Razvan has kept on trying again and again. Very interesting. They have pork brain. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you say about that? You don't like you pork brain? You know exactly what I, I say about is... that. Even after the nightmarish week that they've had, Razvan's just trying to make Amanda laugh. He's trying to reset the gloomy mood that seems to have settled over their relationship. Now that in itself does raise a few questions. Why is he trying so hard? Like, does he genuinely love Amanda that much? And if so, what does he love about her? What is it about her that has him head over heels? Because from what we've seen so far, their relationship in person really hasn't been great. But somehow, despite everything, Razvan still wants to take her to meet his parents. Me and my family, we are very close, so it's a big deal. I feel like they would like Amanda because she has a good heart. Okay, Razvan, that might be the case. But aside from her good heart, what other boxes is Amanda checking? Because I'm struggling to see it. This is a lady who's rude about his country, who's dismissive about his efforts, who doesn't actually seem that keen to be in a relationship with him. She also doesn't meet his own criteria. Remember, he told us that he divorced his first wife because she didn't support his career. He vowed he'd never be in a relationship with someone like that again. So <laughs> what's going on? Because Amanda clearly isn't supportive of his career. She has the same jealous traits that his ex-wife had. So I don't know, something's just not adding up. I'm having a tough time believing that Razvan can't find a more suitable partner. Unless this relationship offers him something that others don't. The only thing, my mother will not like if it's a possibility to live in America, you know? Yeah. They always knew that I want to move there. Ah, okay. Razvan wants to move to America. Now, he tells Amanda that his mum doesn't want him to move. But as an aspiring actor and a musician, regardless of what his parents say, he'd love to live in America. So is that the real reason why he's in this relationship? You always wanted to move to the United States? Yes, it was a dream from I was a child. 
I don't know that. So while Razvan claims that he's told Amanda this in the past, she denies this. She's adamant that he's never mentioned his dreams of moving to America. This whole topic has hit a nerve with her. She now sees this as a red flag. And if we're completely honest, it kind of is. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time we've seen a singer desperate to move to America to progress his career. Remind you of anyone? Yeah. It's got to be a red flag. But at the same time, we also know that Amanda's trying to find any excuse to end this relationship without looking like the bad guy. So this information, whether it's new or she's known it all along, means she's just struck gold. You have to think of it from my position. Like, I'm not trying to come off as like, oh, I don't trust you or I don't believe you, but I have to be cautious. I have to ask these questions and I have to truly know your intentions. Now, just to be clear, Razvan hasn't given us any reason to suspect him of any shady green card business. Literally all he's done is have endless patience and commitment to Amanda. Funnily enough, it's that that's making this feel like a red flag. Which means it comes as some relief when we hear that Razvan is human. He's not completely turning a blind eye to Amanda's behaviour. In fact, he does have some concerns. It makes me feel insecure that I invest in someone, my feelings, and I don't know what she really wants from me. What does Amanda want from him? What does Amanda want in general? I don't think even she knows the answer to those questions. It really feels like she's in limbo, in a really dark, strange place after the passing of her husband. And that makes it seem like her relationship with Razvan is more an attempt to rebuild her life rather than true love. But when we rejoin them the following morning, it seems like Amanda isn't ready to let go of the whole American dream issue. You trust me? I don't care about America. Okay, thank you. Great chat, Amanda. <laughs> you can clearly see that this issue is bothering her. It's written all over her face, but she's struggling to communicate. She's giving Razvan nothing to work with. That said, despite her chilly demeanour, Razvan is somehow able to stay positive. He's excited to take Amanda to a friend's pool party. That is where she'll get to meet Razvan's close friend, Diana. Amanda doesn't trust me 100%, but I think this ball can be a reset to meet a good friend, Diana. But wait, wasn't the dinner from the night before supposed to be the reset? I really want to make things work and to forget about all of the fights and start from zero. So tonight I prepared this special night. Two resets in less than 24 hours. If that's not a sign, then I don't know what is. Hopefully, a nice relaxing day by the pool with his friends might be exactly what Amanda needs, just to relax. But guess what? She can't. You see, from the first second that Amanda lays eyes on Deanna, her guard is up. I can be a jealous person, and she's like wearing a thong bikini. So it's like added levels of stress and anxiety to me. Stress and anxiety. That's the exact opposite of what Razvan was hoping Amanda would feel today. Now, is this Amanda's fault for being a jealous and unsociable person? Or is this Razvan's fault for not knowing Amanda well enough by now? How does he not realise that this isn't the kind of environment with scantily clad people that she's never met before that's going to help Amanda to relax? It's not, and I think Razvan knows this. In fact, I get the impression this might be deliberate. This might be another of Razvan's tests. You like Romania? Um, like I'm not used to like a city. Like where I live is like a town. But she's getting used to it. Am I? Yeah, you told me. Now, Diana seems like an outgoing lady, but we already know from the first time we met her that she's protective of Razvan. She has serious concerns about Razvan and Amanda's relationship. And frankly, even though she's making an effort with Amanda, first impressions aren't great. Despite being sat round a table with everyone talking in English, Amanda's distant. She's on her phone. 
Deanna tries to engage with her. She asks what they've been up to, and when she learns that they'll soon be meeting Razvan's parents, she wants to know how Amanda feels about this. I'm excited, says Amanda, but I do have a concern. Razvan's parents don't speak English. Razvan's gonna have to translate, and I don't know if he's gonna say the right thing. He Maybe. might just leave things out. Maybe. <laughs> you better not. Notice Deanna intently analysing everything Amanda is saying and doing. She doesn't like what she's just seen. She turns round to her friends at the table, and in English, so Amanda understands, calls her out for her behaviour. Look at her body language, she points out to her friends. Look at his eyes, like... Yeah. <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> Amanda looks less than impressed. She's not happy being called out like that. I think we can all sense that Deanna isn't on her side and she's not afraid to speak her mind. But it's about to get a whole lot worse. You see, it's at this point that Deanna decides to pull Amanda aside to have a chat with her in private. She wastes absolutely no time in getting down to business. You love him or you're just attached to him? No, I'm in love with him. Deanna is asking the sorts of questions that Amanda should be asking herself. Does she actually love Razvan? Or is this relationship just a temporary fix? Is she just trying to fill the void left in her heart by her late husband? Now, we know that Amanda doesn't take critique well, but unfortunately for her, Deanna is just getting started. She brings the conversation back round to the look that Amanda gave Razvan when they were talking about visiting his parents. That was the sort of look that toxic people give, she says. When I look in your eyes and after I look in Razvan's eyes, was like, I love you so much, but I want to kill you right now. It's a toxic relationship <laughs> because the toxic people do that. Amanda is extremely uncomfortable. She doesn't like what she's hearing. For the first time since arriving in Romania, she's being held responsible for her actions. She's being asked the tough questions, and she's forced to deny that she and her relationship with Razvan is toxic. I don't think our relationship is toxic. Amanda tries to brush off this accusation in a, huh, what a stupid question kind of way. She's playing it down, she's kind of laughing at it, but the eye contact here is intense. These two ladies are shooting daggers at each other. It's pretty clear that neither thinks much of the other. And this leads Amanda to question, what exactly is Deanna's motive here? I don't know if Deanna has any ulterior motives. If she like has a crush on Rosman, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason she's so critical. Amanda seems to always default back to jealousy. Having just been called out on her actions, she avoids taking any form of accountability by dismissing it as though Deanna just wants Razvan. But is that really the case? Could it be that what Deanna's saying here is based on conversations she and Razvan have had about Amanda? We know that she and Razvan are close friends. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that Razvan has opened up to her about the complications he and Amanda are experiencing. I'm just a good friend and he suffered a lot in the past and I don't want you to play with him. Deanna explains that Razvan really changed after his last marriage and divorce. As his friend, she doesn't want that to happen again. And I actually think that this is really important for Amanda to hear. She needs to understand that this relationship isn't entirely about her. Her actions also have direct consequences on Razvan's emotional well-being. I just want you to be careful with him. You understand? Yeah. It's very hard to find uh, boys like Razvan. From what we've seen of these two, I think that statement holds true. For now at least, Razvan really does seem to be a diamond in the rough. A diamond that Amanda has taken for granted. But will this reality check bring her back down to earth? Or is this yet another reason to add to her checklist for why she needs to run away?